See, I'm looking at you right now and you look like you might be what I call an Agent Smith. An Agent Smith works hard to make it seem and look as if he has the money instead of doing those things that will actually produce them the results to get the money. On the other hand, a Neo puts aside trying to look rich on social media for fake likes and fake women for a time only to actually become wealthy by putting in the work it takes to get there. So what if you literally couldn't hide uh, how much money you make per day from people? What if the thotty women you fake rich in front of could see right through you and knew exactly what was inside your wallet right now? If that's how it was, how hard would you then go to make it a reality that you actually got that money? What if everybody you walked right past could see your bank account balance right here on your forehead. Is the number so small that you feel pathetic watching Netflix and attempting to take a day off to hang out with your homeboys? Well, if that's the case, why aren't you earning a living and making the killing right now? Why wait? Grab a damn coach. Everybody's going broke trying to follow what is actually possible by Tim Ferriss, the four hour work week and all of this monk mode crap but it might not be possible for you right now. The Bible says that whatsoever you put forth your hand to do, do it with all your might. God also says that the hand of the diligent shall be made fat. So what does that mean? Made fat in the scripture talks about riches and assets, wealth, that type of thing. Diligence means persistence, consistency, going hard at what it takes to build your business and your net worth. Are you doing that right now or are you waiting around, waiting for something magical to happen, waiting to win the lottery, waiting for somebody to give you a loan, waiting for somebody to uh, build the business for you? If that's you, then you are an Agent Smith and he loses, guys. You want to be a Neo. You want to be the winner. You want to be the one that does not sit back and hope and cross your fingers for your life to change financially, mentally, spiritually, physically, all of those type of things like that, relationship-wise, all of that. So what we're going to get into is this. As you guys know, I have programs, programs where I have students that's made over $140,000 in 90 days uh, during Snowvid or the scandemic. I've made multiple millions in combination with my students uh, doing high-ticket drop servicing and all of that. We've done launches with courses uh, that has done eighty to $100,000 within a week's time, $200,000 in a couple months' time without any traffic or, or audience from somewhere else, no ad spend or none of that, right? So what are you doing? How are you going hard? Do you own assets? If you ain't got no cash yet, it's probably because you don't own no assets. So if your bank account balance was visible and you had to walk through the hood, you had to walk through the beach, you had to walk down the street, period, past people that you know, people that will make fun of you, <laughs> sticks and stones, right? Uh, people that you actually want to get to know, uh, women that you want to date or whatever it is, blah, blah, blah. Like if they can see that right there, you could get shut down immediately. See, the problem is they can't see that. But you know, you know that when you log into your bank account, like it doesn't show what you want it to show. This is why I constantly work even when I have money, because I know the certain things that I want to fulfill in life. It does not matter if other people can see it. But if you behave as if other people can see it, since you care what they think over what you think, then maybe you'll go harder, right? So I just wanted to ask you guys, like, put it in the comments right now. Like, if people could see your bank account balance, how hard would you be actually working? If you had nowhere to hide and they can, like, just look you dead in your face and be like, dang, bro, is that bad? You, like, two hours away from going to live in the shelter some dang on where. You want to borrow my bus pass to go get a job or something like that? You understand what I'm saying? Like, what would you do? What would you do if you couldn't hide it? Because that's what makes it to where you can take a day off. That's what makes it to where you can take a week off, uh, go on these vacations when you know you broke as hell. You understand? Because you know that nobody can see it and you can continue to lie to them. But you can't lie to yourself. You can be in denial, but you can't lie to yourself. If you're not where you want to be, it is because you're not diligent enough. All the laws are laid out there for you to become successful in the scripture and on the internet. 
right? There are working business models that you guys can just literally go and plug in today and do it. The problem, the problem is lack of faith. You haven't seen it work for yourself before. You've seen it work for other people, but you but how do I know it's going to work for me, right? So you have lack of faith. So you will pick a business model, but you won't see it through because you don't know how long it's going to take. So you, it makes you scared. You have this panic and then you get back on the internet and start looking for something else that promises overnight results. And even if you get them overnight results, you start to get a little nervous again. And like, what if this is a fluke? What if this is not going to be, are you not impressed by it? So you'll hop into another business model. Like you got to stop being childish. The Bible says, when I became a man, I put away childish things. You understand what I'm saying? One of those childish things is waiting for something bad to happen for you to go hard. One of those childish things is waiting for other people to be watching for you to, uh, to kill it, right? We love to go inside the uh, school cafeteria, wait for all the pretty girls to watch and then start rapping, right? But you ain't practicing when you walking by yourself on the way home when nobody's looking. So when you actually hit the main stage, you, fit, you forget your words and embarrass yourself. Quit waiting for people to look for you to actually show off. Start showing off. Start killing it right now. When you see an opportunity for you to make a, make a killing, guys, go, go at it, man. Go at it, right? So I just wanted to put that thought out there because that's a very interesting thought. Like, damn, if everybody can see what I'm making and I'm making a pathetic amount of money, it's embarrassing, then I would be forced to have to change and start making some moves. If you're feeling like that and you can see inside your own bank account right now and you're getting more withdrawals from uh, freaking like people taking rent and bills and subscriptions and stuff, then you are getting deposits from sales and commissions that you're making, then you need to make a move. You understand? There is no cash in without action. You understand? Hesitation and procrastination are both the fathers of failure. Go to the first pin comment. There are multiple programs that you can take action on start making yourself like some money earn a living but make a killing all right